hi guys welcome back to the channel my name is christy and this is christy spouse on this channel i motivate you to live your best life with god and i also share with you a life here in saskatchewan canada in case you are seeing my face for the first time i will encourage you to subscribe to the channel because i'm telling you you don't want to miss any of the videos on this channel thank you for subscribing returning subscribers you are too much god bless you guys thank you for always guys thank you for always coming back i appreciate you a lot so today we want to go ahead with our provision on mini pathways and today i'll be talking about ontario so if this sounds like what you might be interested in listening to then you want to definitely 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 watch till the very end let's do this guys welcome back guys so today i'll be talking about ontario nomi Ontario Immigrant Nominee Program. It is called OIMP, Ontario Immigrant Nominee Program. And just to tell you a few things you need to know about coming to Canada as a PR, as a permanent resident, you know, through Ontario Nominee Program. So the first thing you want to know in case you want to come in as um as a nominee through Ontario is that you need to have an expert entry profile because um like in some of the other provinces I've spoken about, Ontario, you know, goes to the um, express entry profiles, like goes to the IRCC portal to check express entry profiles to so see those um, applicants that have profiles or work experience that they need in the province and then send them a um, notification of interest for a possible you know nomination so you want to have an express entry profile like it's like the basic thing in case you want to come to canada through ontario you need to have an express entry profile this means that you need to have at least a clb7 in your ielts like you need to have at least a six in all your modules and you also need to have your um um access your credentials assessment done so you have you need those two things before you can even create a profile and the requirements before ontario will send you um a notification of interest is you need to have at least a 400 in your crs <laughs> yeah you need to have at least a 400 in your crs i think i've spoken about some other provinces that all you need is like a 300 some other provinces do not even need your express entry profile but for ontario you need to have at least a 400 in your crs before i even go for that i want to talk to you a bit about ontario ontario is like you know um if you are from nigeria ontario is like the lagos of nigeria the ontario is where all the things are, are you know all the, the bubbling place you know the place where like a lot of things are happening it's like the largest populated um province in canada and <laughs> talking about the largest populated I was, I was just you know when i was just talking about when I was just asking around about Ontario, I heard they even once in a while have, you know, traffic jams and all, you know, that like they are like that populated. But as populated as they are, it's also, you know, acclaimed to be the place where you find, you know, all kinds of jobs. You know, like in the same way with Lagos, you know, a lot of people will tell you if you want to, you know, get your blowing up fast, fast done, go to Lagos because you will be able to also your also and get the things you need to get done as fast as you can. So it's the same thing with um Ontario, like it's a you know bubbling place. It's a land it's, it's like a land filled with opportunities and all that. But it's like and it's because of the wild network of people that are there and as much as it is a wild like you can you have all sorts of opportunities there it is also a place that is you know compared to other provinces it is you know also like expensive to live in you know i was talking about accommodation sometimes ago and i spoke about the fact that our rent here in saskatchewan is about one thousand three hundred dollars per month but in ontario a decent place will cost you around um two thousand and above two thousand dollars a month so as you are finding the opportunities you are also you know considering the cost and all that but you know when you consider everything together it's just a cool place to live in and as much as um, ontario is the most is acclaimed to be the most populated um province in canada it also still has needs for skilled workers so in case you you have um a work experience uh they need they will all they will definitely send you like a notification of interest because really 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 there's no province in canada that is too populated to have you know more immigrants so as populated as they are they are still you know they still have need for skilled workers to fill in some employment gaps definitely if your work experience is what they need in their occupation and demand they would um send you a notification of interest to send your 
application today. We're talking about um, their need for, you know, skilled workers. When I looked at what their need for immigrants for the year 2022 is, I discovered that they need about 13,000 new immigrants for the year 2022. That is, Ontario needs about 13,000 new immigrants. So, of course, of course, we can be part of the 13K that wants to, you know, enter into Ontario. <laughs> you know, it's just, you know, look at um, their requirements and see if you fit in. And, you know, when creating your experience entry profile, you, you pick them as one of the likely provinces you might want to live in because that's also like um, a way to show them that you're interested in living in their province. So there are four pathways to come to Ontario. It's either you come in as, you know, um, with a job offer, you can come in as an international student, you can come in in the business category, that means you're coming to start a business, and you can come in as a skilled worker. So th in this video, I will just, you know, shed a bit light on coming in as a skilled worker. And uh, I already started from you need you need to have an express entry profile. You need to have at least a 400 CRS points. So under skilled worker program, it is also an advantage for you to be able to speak French because it um, increases your chances of you know getting a, nominate, a notification of interest from them. And as per the estimated processing time listed on their website, it seems to be like the fastest that I've seen so far. On their website, it is listed that their processing time is between 60 to 90 days. That's just like between two months, three months. And most times, these processing times do not take as long as it is listed. Most times, it doesn't take as long as it's listed. You know, and thank God, you know, um, we are getting out of the era of this um, pandemic, and, you know. So between 60 to 90 days, you, you either get your nomination and get your nomination. We don't want to, you know, think about the other thing you might get apart from getting the nomination. So within 60 to 90 days, you get your nomination and you can then go ahead to IRCC to, you know, com continue your um, permanent residence application. As it is with every other province that you need to create an express entry profile before you can get your notification of interest. In case Ontario sees your profile and are interested in your work experience like in their province, what they do is send you a notification of interest both in your express entry profile and also as a mail. And I can remember this when, you know, there was in one of my videos, I um, said something about Ontario, you know, sending us like, um, a, a mail in error like a notification of interest but it was in error even then I, I should know it was in error because i didn't have up to 400 in my crs so we got a notification of interest in error we got it both on my express entry profile and also as a mail and if you get a notification of interest from ontario you're expected to submit um your document to them within 45 calendar days this might come as a shocker but application fee once you are submitting your document to them the application fee that you submit alongside is 1500 canadian dollars and it's the like the most expensive in all the provinces like is the highest 1500 canadian dollars so in considering coming to ontario you know you also want to consider the cost that comes along you know with processing your application and also 1500 is the application fee for um, Ontario Immigrants Nominee Program. So once you get your um, applications, you get the documents, you get the processing fee, submit and back it up with prayers and expect your nomination according to their website within 60 to 90 days. And once you get your nomination, you update your nomination proof on your express entry profile and 600 points is added to your score. And by the next time, um, IRCC is having a draw, of course, definitely, 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 you will get um, an ITA, of course, because you had 400, you are adding 600, that's 1,000, 1,000. <laughs> so you definitely get um, an ITA from IRCC and from there you can go ahead, continue with your processing of permanent residency. In case you have other questions about Ontario that you feel I've not mentioned in this video, then you want to ask in the comments or you want to come to the DM on Instagram, if it's something I can answer, of course. I'll be ready to give you the answers to your questions. Thank you for watching. Till we meet in the next video, have a beautiful life. Well, wait, have you subscribed to the channel? Subscribe to the channel now. It's because of you that I'm here now. It is because of you that I'm here. It is because. <laughs> and remember to hit the like button. You know, it encourages me to know that, okay, the people that watched it actually liked it. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Till we meet in the next video, have a beautiful life. Bye.